Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now, I'm going to take you for a walk around Lilac Park. Now that we're in springtime in Moscow, the blue skies are out, the flowers are blooming on the trees and we're going to go for a walk around a very beautiful park here in Moscow. It's literally right ahead of me, so let's go. Now there is a sign right in front of us here Sireni Visad, which basically means Lilac Park. I'm going to keep calling it Lilac Park, I think, for most of the video. Now, it is actually interesting. Most of the parks in Moscow and in Russia generally are not fenced like this. Now, this actually even has opening hours from 6 a.m. till midnight. There's even free Wi-Fi in the park. How nice is that? And then there's plenty of things you can't do in here. You can bring your pets, you must have it on a, a leash. And it's even got security surveillance. I imagine because it is such a beautiful park that they wanna keep it looking beautiful. And, you know, especially these uh, trees and gardens are very well manicured. Now let's go for a walk around and check it out. Now I have come with my wife, Yevgenia today, or Jen. You may know her from a few videos, not too many. She really doesn't want to be on camera as usual, but I'm going to kind of just follow her around. I think she wants me to take some photos of her as well. And you'll see lots of people taking pictures of these different varieties of lilac trees. All oh, these different colors. And we've come midweek as well, because we were told to avoid coming on Saturday and Sunday because there is too many people because all we're gonna see is all the ladies taking photos of these trees because they, they are so nice. And it really is kind of selfie heaven. Sorry. <laughs> I also gotta be careful walking around people taking photos. I don't wanna get in their photos. But you see, there's my wife getting a photo with the lilacs. Now, when we were in Australia, we actually uh, went to a few different places where they've got them also. They don't have them really in dedicated parks. They have a lot of these planted in streets. So you can go to entire streets where they're kind of like this. Check it out, this lady's getting the photos as well. And a lot of people come intentionally kind of dressed up for it to get some nice photos after winter's finished. So walking around, there's a whole series of paths that kind of dot in and out of this kind of suburban, kind of inner city park. It literally is dedicated to lilac trees and different varieties of them. And again, my wife uh, keeps finding a tree for selfies. And she said to me, you know, oh, there wouldn't be that many people here, but that's why we came during the week, knowing that on the weekend, it'll be absolutely crowded here. Saturday and Sunday, it'll be You'd be, I was saying to my wife, you'd be struggling to find a tree to take a photo next to. There'll be so many people. And this is in the middle of the day, in the middle of the week in Moscow. Now, of course, I'm not a horticulturalist or I'm not really knowing the names and the varieties of these different trees. There is quite a few different colors uh, as we kind of walk around the park slowly and how bright they are. Actually, when we took the photos in Australia, we kind of waited a few weeks or however long it was and all of the uh, flowers fall on the ground, right? And it's like a carpet of purple where we went to to get the photographs. You can see how close we are to the buildings right behind us there. They've got a prime view for them top floors over to the park. Very nice. And there's actually a fairly busy highway right here. Now, if you have watched the channel before, you know that I do a lot of walk around videos where I talk about what I see, but this kind of park today, it's really just a walk, smell the lilac uh, flowers because it's very uh, noticeable right when we walked in from the streets. As we walk around more, you're kind of just inhaling it. And this blue sky day today as well has made it even more beautiful. Have a look at this tree right in front of me here now. This is a big tree. We've just seen the people kind of standing next to it. And the whole tree is flowering. 
it's really stunning. I mean, we've come specifically to this park. Actually, lots of subscribers told me, Russell, you've got to come here. Uh, lots of people who are in my Telegram group suggest that I come here. And they even sort of told me, make sure you come on like today, like a Tuesday. Don't come Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But how nice is that? Now, Jen wanted to point out to me here these sort of signs that are up around the park. And this one is in honor of this guy right here. And he spent 50 years working for the uh, local authorities and in the park looking after this place. And they built a sign in his honor. How nice is that? And then this nice walkway ahead of us here. It's kind of, uh, it's hard to kind of get a bad angle walking around. I want to try to make a nice sort of uh, length video and make sure we kind of take it all in as we go walking. You can see some other ladies here checking these flowers and smelling them and, and they've even got these signs that tell you different varieties and they've got different names of the varieties of the lilacs. Of course it's in Russian, I can't read it, but I think these first words though Mecha Ultra Mos Moskov. So it's kind of cool. And walking a bit further into the back of the park here, we're kind of almost near the edge of the park. You can just see some more apartment buildings behind the little bit older, smaller ones. And have a look at this nice children's park right here. And actually, they try to match the color of all of the different play equipment with the trees which is super nice and all the mums and dads here bringing their kids to have a play and then there's these kind of uh, planter boxes here with the different varieties of plants and trees I imagine these are different varieties of lilacs again it's uh, almost like a small botanic garden here how nice it's really uh, very picturesque it's almost like you don't want to even walk around with a camera in your hand because it's too nice just to take it in. There's a, a big thing that YouTubers talk about and travel vloggers talk about that. A lot of what they do when they travel, they're looking through the lens of the camera and not really looking where they are. And you know, you don't kind of get that sense of the, of the place you're in because you're just looking through the camera the whole time. Look at this kind of uh what do you call this a juxtaposition like the trees in the foreground and then the buildings and these different older uh, kind of soviet style buildings the panel buildings and then over here these modern ones off in the distance they're uh kind of uh, a little bit taller of course but they're not as big inside these newer apartment buildings they're definitely smaller sizes of apartments than the, the older style ones right here. I mean, imagine the view from the top floors there. It must be amazing looking down here. Even in winter it would be beautiful, I think, here. So not only is there very beautiful lilac trees here, there's also some tulips. Now, there's not too many of them, but they're still very nice and still very photo. Uh, worthy of a picture. They're uh, kind of dotted around here in these flower beds. So some of them have kind of slowly, I guess the season changes very quick here and they kind of flower bloom and then they go away. Jen is uh, enjoying a few minutes break. Just looking at the trees, taking in the smell. And we've stopped a few times for photos. No matter how many times I show how to take the picture of me, I can keep getting my head cut off, my uh, ear cut off. <laughs> it's very funny, but it's very nice. They're still nice photos. And have a look, they've even got the purple benches to match. How nice. As we come back to this middle kind of boulevard here, now yeah, we can see a lot more people uh, kind of tucking into the different trees and wanting to get photos. There's actually lots of people in the park, even for midweek. It's uh, surprising. I'm so used to Australian parks where 
you just don't see that many people walking in them. It's usually too hot, especially in summertime. You know, we're all kind of running for the shade. We're not going to come to a park and walk around. We'll go to the beach or go to someone's house and swim in their pool. Whereas in Russia, you come for a walk in the local park. Maybe if you live in this area, I think a lot of people who are here don't live in this direct area. They probably come here, especially like we did. And we took us about two hours to get here by public transport. So a local bus, two different metro trains, and then another local bus. But it's worth the trip here for sure. And we've got this big sculpture here. It's pretty much any corner you walk around, it's, it's possible to get a nice photograph. And this middle area of the park here, actually have a look at the view of the buildings. I love to see the parks on the buildings, kind of uh, that foreground background. They've got this big water fountain area right here in the middle. And all the kids love to run through the water fountains. And these uh, get switched off in winter. And then the staff from all the parks all over Russia come and check the maintenance of them, making sure they'll work after winter's kind of finished. And it's essentially it's water fountain season. They actually call it that. They even announce it in the local media when the water fountains are open. So if you want to come like this and take photos or bring the kids. And my wife and I, we were just looking at these apartments in the background over here. How nice this view would be from these windows. It's really kind of amazing. Uh, it's a really nice part of Moscow. I mean, this whole area around where this park is. Uh, super nice place, but I don't want to check the price of these apartments. I would a little be a little bit shocked, I think. Especially knowing the value versus the area we're in but such a nice place. There really is quite a few people now in this middle part of the park. We were uh, walking around initially in all the different corners looking for a nice photo spot. Everybody just chilling here. Families, kids, students, everybody has come out here today, but it's such a nice day. I mean, you don't even need a jacket today. You'll see a few people with kind of uh, sweaters on or hoodies, but you really don't need to wear one or oh, this water fountain. So as we keep walking around, I know uh, this is a little bit different to a lot of the most recent videos on the channel. Uh, my wife told me that it's not going to really get any views compared to some of the shop and uh, market videos that I make, you know, and uh, even the apartment tours are getting lots of views as well. So I've got to come to these kind of places though you know, kind of document this season in Moscow and make a nice video, uh, come for a nice walk at the same time. So if you are here for me and traveling, particularly in Russia where I am now, thanks for watching. I'm going to keep walking around some more and we're going to see some more trees. Also, I do hope it kind of comes out on camera as nice as what we're seeing here walking around. I know sometimes you know, uh, where you watch uh, some videos and documentaries and you know, you can make things look nice. I'm literally just holding the camera and following my wife around and you know, uh, lots of other people here as well, but I hope it looks just as nice on the video as what it would feel like if you were here. And if you're ever in Moscow or you're from this area or you're going to travel to Russia and you're here at this time of year, Definitely come to Lilac Park and check it out like we're doing. You know, I can hear, I was thinking I was hearing the uh, guy with the lawnmower over here and he's just got the hand mower going around between the trees, but he's got a lot of park to cut. All right, so everybody who watches my live streams uh, knows my wife doesn't really like to be on camera too much, but here she is. Now, you guys in the comments, please, say hello to Jen uh, or put a comment, maybe ask her to be in more videos. So Jen, what do you think of Lilac Park? Oh, it is a beautiful park with now, nice smelly. It's really beautiful. Uh -huh. And have you been here before or? No. Never? I, never. I'm oh. first time here. First time here. Mm -hmm. And do you recommend people to come here if they're? Yeah, sure. I recommend for visit 
this place. Uh huh. Thousand percent. And it's not a very big park, right? Yeah. You can walk around in an hour. Well, like an hour. Maybe yeah. if you want to sit down, hour and a half. Um, so yeah. So if everybody wants to see Jen in more videos, um, Jen, you want to say anything to the viewers, the traveling with Russell? Yeah. Subscribers. What do you want to say to everybody? Thank you for watching Russell's <laughs> channel. <laughs> and what should everybody do? Put thumbs up. Thumbs up and... Subscribe. Subscribe Subscribe if, they, if you're not a subscriber, right? Yeah. So thanks, Jen, for being in the video just briefly. And if you want to see her in more videos, let us know in the comments uh, because we need to, you know, show her love that she wants. To, we want her to be in the videos. I'm trying to get her on a live. You want to be on a live stream soon, right? <laughs> no. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think we're going to follow Jen for a little bit more around the park. We've kind of almost covered the whole park, actually, in the video as well as walking. We've stopped a few times to take a little break. These actual yellow, uh, I, I think they're called dandelions. They actually really add to the park at the moment, but these guys with the Lawn mowers are busy sort of cutting them down. And some ladies here taking some photos as well. It's uh, definitely photo season here. You can see already this guy with the lawn mower sort of come through this area and kind of chopped all the dandelions down. Kind of adds to the photos a little bit, but you know, it's still a, a weed really, but everybody's coming for the lilac trees, I think. Now I think by the time this video is finished, it's just gonna be really just a lilac tree video. But it's really the whole park in general I'm trying to kind of cover in the video. It's uh, not that large that you can walk around it. It's got nice paths. It's got these kind of paved paths. So if you've got like a, a kids with scooters or prams and then there's these kind of uh, dirt paths that intersect, uh, intersect each other. Now, I've been sort of stopping and starting to make different uh, parts of the video with Jen here and then she's walking ahead of me, I'm walking ahead of her. And it's, it's kind of interesting. You can see off in the background there, some of these uh, red and white uh, pylons here, the smokestacks, I guess you'd call them. There's always gonna be that little bit of Russia even in a park when we're walking around, you know, to see the kind of uh, industrial part, even in the city here. There's gotta be some way for the heating and electricity and gas turbines to kind of operate for all of the, the housing around and businesses. So I think we've almost come to the end of the walk around. We've come back to this middle boulevard here and you can see lots of uh, people just walking in at the same time as we're kind of heading to the exit. And it's kind of that first tree you see, you want to get a photo of it and it's a, I guess it's a thing that you come and do, right? I mean, I like coming to walk in uh, Moscow parks. This one's obviously quite unique because of all the variety of the plants and trees. Uh, and it's very, very normal to see everyone taking photos with the flowers. And I think in Australia, I don't think people really do that as much as they do here in Russia and in Europe in general. Because here we really worship the weather, you know, coming out of winter now, spring and then summer. And this is kind of the first weeks of the warmer weather where every day of the week now it's getting just about a degree warmer. So it comes to be very nice by the uh, end of May and June. So let's uh, get towards the exit. And we'll uh, give you our final thoughts. Okay, everybody, we've come to the end of the video and I've managed to get Jen into the outro. What did you think of the park? What I think of the park? Yeah. It's very <laughs> nice, beautiful place. <laughs> I'm really happy to spend like a few hours here. You mean today. with me, you mean? With you, oh, of course. Thank you. And uh, what else can we say? Uh, we, if you like the video, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. Thumbs yeah. up? I think you gotta do thumbs up. Or maybe a lilac or a flower up instead of a thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, post a comment, let us know what you think of this type of video. 
Uh, do you want to see more of Jen in the videos? Jen, do you want to be in more videos? That's a question. Of course, yeah, I know it's a question. <laughs> Just everybody know I don't. Don't like being in the videos. Yeah, Jen's been in a couple of videos on this channel and uh, my previous channel, I had her in a few videos as well, but uh, she likes to be kind of off camera. So thanks for watching everybody. We're gonna go on another adventure now. Yeah. Another adventure? Another one. To maybe make another video. Yeah. Okay. And